what's up YouTube? You know what time it is. It's my fan time and uh, this is the uh, monthly video here, the pickups of the month. Now this of course being January 2016, the first month of a new year. And uh, my goodness, so much heat here to show. Lots of rare jerseys, hard to get. Uh, and, and others that, you know, are, are, are nice, even if, if, if they're tough to get or not, either way, they're nice pickups, additions to the collection. And I got to start with the Kentucky Colonels, Artis Gilmore. This, uh, this is an ABA jersey from back in the day, from 1974-75. Now I'm wearing it, so I can't really give you all the specs, besides it's double-stitched. It's got the nice red, white, and blue going all over it. Uh, this was actually a jersey that uh, that Snacks was selling and was able to pick it up. And so big shout out to Snacks. Picked it up by way of uh, by way of Big Slim. And uh, by the way, speaking of Big Slim, we have a guest. And since it is Jan, it's the first month of a new year, so you know we're going to start we're going to start the pickups with a guest. And I don't know who the guest is. I feel like this is one of those sh shows which what's behind uh, door number one and. Uh, Behind door number one, we have uh, we have our guest here. So so without further ado, we have uh, oh speaking of Big Slim, there's Big Slim, <laughs> Grail Ketten. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I guess if you you know I'm in mighty I'm photo bombing or video bombing, <laughs> you know mighty fan video. So getting grails 19.5. <laughs> We actually got together today. We got together today to go to the Mitchell Ness store because, uh, uh, well, actually yesterday, but Mitchell Ness dropped a new Michael Jordan jersey, which was the 1991 All-Star jersey. Really, really nice jersey. And, of course, to go with that, Mark has his 93 Dominique Wilkins, Atlanta Hawks. I went with my Eric Dickerson, L.A. Rams, since the Rams moved back to L.A. So I kind of gave a little love to the Los Angeles Rams. And... <laughs> Uh, so, you know, we had a good time. We found some unexpected deals there as well, even though they weren't having a sale today. But, you know, you, you, that's, that's why you go, because you yeah, never know. The bags that I walked out with, you never know. <laughs> um, but Mark did, uh, was able to pick up the 91 Jordan. I'm hoping to get it soon. But, um, Mark, why don't you uh, reel off that 91 Jordan? We'll start the video with that, then we'll get into the pickups here. Because uh, this, again, this is a jersey that Mitchell Ness just dropped yesterday, which was Friday. Um, and uh, really nice. Really nice overall look to it. So here it is. And Mark, why don't you, why don't you tell the uh, viewers there about this jersey? Oh, right, here we go. We got the, the 91 Jordan All-Star. I'm a huge Mike fan, so no matter what, I got to have. I got to have one. So I made the trip from Baltimore up to Mighty Fan Country to grab this. Here you see the jock tag, February 10, 1991. Everything, uh, all the background, all this, it's all in the in the fabric with the uh, 23 is double stitched. The uh, the high Jerry West, which was really cool, it was a cool thing that they did in the jersey. Single stitch in the back, Jordan 23, and uh, and and uh, and it also got the uh, an authentic Mitchell and Ness uh, hardwood hanger that came with it which was pretty cool that was the only reason I came up here expected to leave with two jerseys and made a trade with mighty fan Ken Stabler I traded a size 54 to him for his 56 and uh, made another trade with the store and I was able to get a 94 aqua Dan Marino and then thanks to mighty fan here he went into the clearance room and found uh, 1969 Luis Aparicio and a 96-97 uh, Mark Jackson, Indiana Pacers. So, uh, without any further ado, let Mighty Fan go ahead and continue with uh, his uh, getting grails over there in the chair. That's why you always check the clearance room at Mitchell Ness. And if you act now, we will throw in this authentic Mitchell and Ness back. This comes in handy. But anyhow, uh, let's get right into the pickups. So we're going to, that's right, Ken Stabler, the snake back there. And <laughs> so it also came with this beautiful grocery looking bag. Look that, at that. I, you know what's funny, dude? I've never seen, I've never seen any of this before. 
I've seen people go like old ladies. They go into the grocery yeah. store and they, they want to use this and not your. They used not to your give out bags. those bags. I remember these bags at the older Mitchell Ness location. They used to give out those bags, and, and then they, they found them. Maybe they found them in the basement. Maybe. <laughs> then they they got cheaper with the with the more regular traditional bags. Those are nice though. Those are really nice. But let's get right into the to the pickups here. So first of all, and, and you know the. The funny thing also was that on the way to the store on the bus, I was telling Mark that, you know, I got this uh, Artis Gilmore K Kentucky Colonels jersey, and, and I hoped someday to find the hat to go with it. Well, this was, uh, this was at the store in the $5 yeah. section. Yeah, the odds. <laughs> the ABA hat of the same <laughs> colors for $5. Fitted, a, fitted ABA hat to go with the uh, Artis, and it will also go with the Dr. J uh, New York Nets, and... You know, so it goes well with that too. So nice, nice. And, and I'm mad there. because they didn't have my size. Yeah, that's the only thing about hats is that you know you see them and you're like, ooh, this is great. But uh, if it's a fitted, you, you always have to look at the size and then. No, it's no, no snapbacks on this head. Sorry. Yeah, I can do the snapbacks, but There's so uh, many nice snapbacks that they make, and they just they just don't put them on a fitted. And when I finally do find one, it's they're they're not my size. Too small. I feel like we need like. If I was better at making these videos on YouTube, you'd have like the sad music playing right now. Behind <laughs> <it>. <laughs> so let's let's get into the, this. Uh, this was another one from uh, Snag. And by the way, uh, both myself and Mark, and our Big Slim, were both wearing jerseys that we were able to get from Snacks. Yeah, I, I got this from Throwback King. Throwback King. Of a couple course, years yeah. ago. Uh, everybody on YouTube, of course, knows who Throwback King is. I picked the Godfather. Up Picked this up from him a few years ago. You know, so Throwback King, I, I know he doesn't do a lot of the pickup videos as much as he once did, but but the spirit of Throwback King lives on in his collection with other collectors. And happy 35th birthday to you. Happy 35th birthday to Throwback King, that's right. Yesterday was his birthday. Wow, thir 35, I remember 35. I don't. <laughs> so, we're going to go with this... Uh, now, I'm not sure if this is a jersey or if this is like a shoot-around shirt kind of thing, but it's the Philadelphia Spaz uh, uh, shoot-around uh, jacket, jersey, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's really a nice material here. Uh, double stitch, Phila, and the three. And this is from the 1947-48 uh, season. Older run Mitchell and Ness. Really nice quality. Uh, now, uh, I did a little research into this, and it was like a, it, it was a league that, that was around before the NBA, and it was, um, it was like a, a Hebrew basketball league, and uh, Philadelphia had sure a team. Are you the NBA wasn't around? Cause I don't, like, I don't think the NBA, they, well, make, they make a 48-49 okay, Mike, and that's right, I stand corrected. The, 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 the NBA was established, I misspoke, and thank you for hmm. that. The Philadelphia, well, though, to it by a jersey, another jersey, <laughs> Mike and George Mike. And. <laughs> Philadelphia did not have a professional team, though. The Sixers were not around. Of course, the Sixers were were um, um, established from Syracuse. They were the Nationals. Came over to Philadelphia, but before the Sixers, there was the uh, the Philadelphia Spaz, and they played in a different league than the NBA. The NBA was around, but it wasn't established in Philadelphia yet. But this was the first real professional uh, basketball team in Philadelphia, which is pretty cool. Go back and look at the history if, if you want. Uh, Philadelphia Spaz, you can Wikipedia it, uh, different stuff, really nice. And there you have the Spaz on the back, number three, double stitched. It's got the nice piping going around, really nice old quality Mitchell Ness. We all know what the old runs had felt like back then. And uh, this... Um, by the way, this is the my part of the uh, the trade. This is a size 54, Ken Stabler, uh, New Orleans Saints. Really, really nice documentary on the snake uh, on N NFL Network from their uh, the series that they do, um, and um, really nice. And, and it had some footage of him with the uh, New Orleans Saints, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay. Apologies in advance for the length of this video, but there's quite a few things to show. Uh, this was the most recent pickup, besides what I have in the bag, <laughs> and some of the things, what, what I'm wearing, and a few other. But this um, 
This I got off eBay uh, last week, and this is a jersey that's eluded me a few times. And uh, it became a grail. It became a, a grail jersey of mine that I, I just had to have. Um, and it's the Seattle Supersonics, um, uh, Spencer Haywood. And this is just an awesome looking jersey. This is 1973-74. And the cool thing about this, size 52, that's my perfect size. So not only was I able to get a good grill, but one in the size that's perfect for me, which is always an added bonus, particularly with the older runs, because you never know. <laughs> Sometimes they, you either just get the big ones or they're too small or whatever, but uh, anyhow. Sonics, double-stitched, 24, double-stitched, and it's got that nice, you know, going down the sides, that piping. It's really nice. And it's triple. Hmm? And it's triple. Is it triple? Oh, yes, it does have that other layer of green. I missed yeah, that. That's triple. I missed that. Good call there. See, that's why he's here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> In case and, I missed... And to take up some of the space on the screen. <laughs> triple stitch, because it does have that little layer of green uh, going around on the inside in the 24. And it, the Haywood is single stitch, no nameplate, and triple stitching for the 24 on the back. Definitely recommend this jersey for those of you out there who don't have it. It's awesome. Really pops. And... Uh, it's, it's rare. It's hard to get. You might see it like once a year on eBay. <laughs> and uh, definitely, definitely get it if you have a shot. Uh, next up. It can stop popping up now. I have mine. Chow has his and you have yours. That's right. I Well, well now that, you know, it, it always doing, works. I wonder if Chow watches your videos. Chow, if Chow watches the video, <laughs> shout out to Chow. But, uh, Chow! <laughs> Shout out to everybody at Kings of Throwback on Facebook. That's right, Kings of Throwback and, and... And current CEO, I guess, Throwback King and Point Forwards Alex. And of course your group. Jerseys, Kicks, and Lids. Jerseys, Kicks, and Lids. This fits. That's right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now this one comes with a little story. Now in the Mighty Fans dressing room. Yeah. <laughs> and coming up to the stage now. <laughs> it's Mark. Do a little turn. It's Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> now, so anyhow. Dude, you know everybody's probably turned the video off. I know that that probably made people hit the hit the thumbs down, but but no, he hit that thumb like button. But anyhow, um, without further further ado, this, this beautiful piece of El Salvador. Uh, this this one I'm so glad to have. I remember years ago at the old Mitchell Nest location. Now, back then, all they had in the store was racks of jerseys, and you had the hat, the hat wall. You may have had a few other clothing, but mainly it was just jerseys and hats, which was wonderful. It was paradise. But back then, they did have a few jerseys on the wall. and they were for sale, but they kind of had them up there. And this was one of the ones that was on the wall. Now, years later, Mitchell and Ness redid this one as a China run. But this is the original El Salvador run. This is one that everyone... A lot of collectors look for, a lot of collectors want to have, and uh, really, really nice. This is the original run, Mitch Richmond, checkerboard, Sacramento Kings, circa the 97-98 season, El Salvador run. The checkerboard on the side, uh, design going down, it's thinner than the one that they made in recent years. But the one that they made in recent years was from a different year. Remember what year that one was from, Mark? What one? The, the other one they made, the, 94, the China one? 94, 95. 94, 95. And, uh, you know, so, you, so that was a different year. And I know a lot of people complained, you know, because they said the checkerboard's too big on the side. But it's actually from a different year. This is 96, 97. And the China run they did was 94, 95. So it's slightly different years. Maybe the pattern was a little different. But anyhow. This is the original run. This is the one that a lot of people look for. Of course, it's got the black and the purple kind of going together there on one side and one side like that. Really nice. Just one of the all-time great jerseys, in my opinion. Kings uh, is triple stitch on the front with the two. NBA logo right there, Jerry West logo. Back, it's got Richmond. Two, two again is uh, triple stitched. Richmond, a single stitch, no nameplate, and again, the old jock tag, and the slimmer checkerboard design going down the side. Again, I remember 
wait, you know, those years ago, it was, it was sitting on a wall. I could have gotten it during a sale. But back then, I was more about football and baseball. I don't know why. I didn't really get the NBA kick until years later. But I felt bad because years later because it's so hard to get. And usually when you, when you see it, you have to pay an arm and leg. I got lucky. I got this on eBay. Um, I got it. Really great deal. And one of the reasons is because it, it had some stains on the two and around the jersey. But Mark was nice enough. To, to help me out because I didn't I didn't want to put it on my card because I already put a lot on the card for that cycle with Black Friday and everything. So he actually picked it up for me and then he got he got the stains off of it. He got he he got this really nice and clean and of course I paid him later, you know, for the jersey, but he uh, he was nice enough to help me out there, pick it up for me, get it cleaned up. I mean it looks brand new. You couldn't even tell it had any kind of stains on it or anything. And I uh, really appreciate it. You know, what's, it's one Jersey head looking out for another. And that's what we do in the community. And that's what the community is all about. It's a sentimental moment. We, have, we need that music. Damn. Any. <laughs> y'all got, got any tissues? <laughs> uh, okay, speaking. 60, 69, Aparicio. Aparicio. I'm going to have, I, I need his help. I can't say this guy's name. Yeah. We were studying. We were practicing on the bus. This jersey was one of the ones they had. They had one rack in the clearance room, one kind of uh, long rack. And they had uh, mainly like, like Philadelphia. I think it was Jimmy Fox. They had a few. Rich, Richie Ashburn. Richie Ashburn, cream jerseys. What, what, what Yankee? Uh, Phil, Phil Rizzuto. Rizzuto. They had Phil Rizzuto. And they had some Pistons jerseys. Uh, and then they had these Louis, uh, Louis Aparicio jerseys. And Mark got one and I got the other. I'll show you mine in a little bit, but uh, just really nice quality on those. Uh, speaking of Jordan, rookie Jordan, home white, 1984. This is the newer one made in, uh, made in China, I believe. Yeah, made in China. They, they, they made this back in the day, too, but this is the newer run. Still nice jersey. Really like it. I have the, home, the, uh, the away red from 84, so now I got the set. Really happy to have it. Everything's pressed on, nothing stitched at all on this jersey besides for the jock. And there it is, 1984-85. Yep, his Aaron, this Michael Jordan. Nice jersey there, solid. Pressed on all the way, everything's pressed. And uh, just a classic jersey, in my opinion. Really didn't nice looking. Did you bring down the red one with you? I didn't bring the red one down. No, that's still in the vault. That's, uh, this, that's where this is going to be going pretty soon. No, I thought I saw a red Jordan. Now... I probably should have. I should have brought that one down and, you know, had them two together, but, you know, it is what it is. Well, actually, there is a red Bulls jer jer uh, jersey, but it's oh, not Jordan. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. No, that, that one's still coming. I know what it is. Uh, New three. Jersey Nets. Sold the three. Drazen Pet Petrovic, of course. Uh, the, the Road Blue. This, again, was another former uh, jersey by, by uh, Throwback King. And... Uh, Awesome jersey. I have the set now because I have the away, um, uh, the away. Yeah, I do. At the the away multi blue, uh, kind of tie dye looking jersey, and then I have the home white. And home white's Mitchell and Ness. The away one was an M Diddy Dunn jersey, and this one, of course, Mitchell and Ness older run, New Jersey Nets. Um, 1992 93 is the year. The jock tag is eluding me for some reason. Here it is. USA run. USA run. A really nice quality on this. Uh, they made one some years ago, China Run, and this just blows it out of the water. This is the one to get. If you have, to, if you want to get any Petro, always try to get some of the older runs because they're nice. Although the new one that they made with the tie dye colors, that that's actually a pretty nice jersey. But um, the the older blue is is uh, the one to get if you want the the, the away blue. Here you got Petrovic number three on the back. That's uh, triple stitched. Triple stitched and triple stitched. Everything's triple stitched. It's got the nice side panels too. Very nice jersey right there. You saw Big Slim was modeling his 91 All-Star. <laughs> it's one of the two Jordan jerseys that I will have at some point. That one in the 96 uh, uh, Finals jersey. And the 96 All-Star. And, and the 96 All-Star. That's right. So there's three. <laughs> three. Ha! 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 Three. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. 
Moving along. This is the, 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 the away red uh, Chicago Bulls jersey that I brought down. Not Jordan, although some people might think that that's like an upside down two. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's actually a five. That's 53 because this is like the guy I'm wearing right here, Artis Gilmore. This is his Chicago Bulls jersey. And it is a really nice jersey. Nice quality, older run. Everything's pressed on. Chicago, 53. Uh, it's from the 1975-76 season. There's the old jack tag right there. That's right, Chicago, Gilmore, 53. Pressed on. Really nice jersey, definitely recommend this. Of course, you know, some time back I got that Reggie Theus. So now I got the set. I got Theus, I got Gilmore, and I got the, the rookie Jordan in this kind of scripted Chicago and away red Gilmore, style. So there's a set. And I'm wearing Gilmore, the Colonels, and I have his Spurs jersey too. The only Gilmore I don't have is the All-Star jersey. What year was that one made? All-Star 77-78. 77-78. That's the only Gilmore Mitchell nest that I don't own to this point, but I do. Someday, I will join Big Slim in having the complete Gilmore set. So yeah, you have the Spurs? I have the Spurs. Okay, I have so the white Spurs. Just missing the All Star. The All Star is easy to get. So. That's right. That's that's an easy pickup. So that 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 will be in the collection. I like this. What's that? That's the '94 Marino. Yeah, I mean, now I have the set. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I have the white Cause, one in cause, that because they make the '75th with the turn back the clock colors, yeah. like the greasy era. Yeah. Then they make this with the screen print. Which right. I have. Right. I picked up with my '96 Jordan All Star and a deal with this, the guy that I bought it from. Right. And now I have this. I have this oh, that's right. So they, they made the uh, they made the white in two versions, right? They made this basically and this. The USA run is huge. Yeah. I mean, it, if it's '56, it's like a '60. And that doesn't have the dolphin. That just has the, the big stripes, stripes. Yeah, from see. the undefeated era. I always like the big stripes ones. You know, I'm a sucker for those. I got Duper and Clay. I, I just like those big stripes. And the, the, the heavy vinyl press to them, they're just really nice. But uh, Yeah, this is actually a trade deal, and I decided to go ahead and pick this up because this was more expensive than the Mike Ditka that I wanted, and I can get the Ditka for cheaper online, so I went with the uh, expensive trade and paid nothing for it. Well, traded in another jersey that was too big. Yeah, it's all about, it's all about the, the little games that you can play within the... The jersey head can be just just to get some certain things that just to you know have ideas to kind of do this or do that. It's like playing a sport. You just have to have a game plan. Or you got to have the CEO on speed dial on your phone. That that helps too. That hi John, <laughs> if you're watching. Uh, last shout, shout out to EDP four four five. <laughs> all of us are all Eagles fans, although we we're not ranting. Yeah, we're we're a little bit about Doug Peterson. Why? But. Jeff, Jeff Larry must know what he's doing. We, we hope he knows what he's doing. Hopefully. Yeah. But anyhow, last but not least, for the pickups here, we That's have... a sleeper. This is... It is. Isn't it? This is a jersey that I think a lot of people sleep on. And you can typically, typically get really good deals on this on eBay. I've got, I got a really good deal on this. This thing is a sweet jersey. I paid, my, I paid 40 bucks for mine, 30 bucks. Yeah, I mean, I got mine for about... What was it, 40 or 50? Mine, mine, I don't know, it was, it was yeah, in that mine. range. But this is a Reggie Rucker, New England Patriots. Uh, this is a 1971 uh, old jock tag right there. Korea. And career run. This thing is heavy. It's got the real nice single layered switch uh, stitching for the 33 on the front. And the same for the sleeves. And the thing I really like about this jersey is those cuffs. You notice the red, white, and blue going around it. Again, this is a jersey not a lot of people give a lot of love to, I don't think, but it definitely deserves it because it's really nice. Rucker single stitched on nameplate, that big 33 on the back single stitch. And it's also got the nice red, white, and blue going around the collar. Just a really nice piece right here. Uh, vintage Mitchell and Ness, Reggie Rucker, 1971. New England Patriots, they've won a lot in recent years. They weren't winning too much back then, but... Uh, <laughs> It's certainly a. They were awful until they got Bledsoe, and then it got a little better. They got a little better. Well, they went to the Super Bowl. It was, then it got blown out by the Bears, but uh, back in '85. But uh, the quarterback Grogan. Yeah, Grogan. <laughs> Irving Fryer was on that team. Irving Fryer, yeah, he was former, a rookie. Former Eagle. He was a rookie. What was I? I believe the. Uh, Andre Tippett. 
Andre Tippett. Was John Stevens Canada? a running back? Yeah. Was Stevens running for them yet? Yeah. Yeah. So well, I know that the, the Rams lost to the Bears, right? Yeah, the Rams and did know, lose and, to and the Bears. Remember, and remember Eric Dickerson, his buddy, oh, man, who was that guy that he played with in college? Craig James. Craig James. Craig James was a Patriot. Oh. And he thought it was going to be so cool that him and E.D. were going to play against each other and the Bears ended up beating them. <laughs> uh, God, how did I remember that? I totally brain farted until it hit me. It, it's, <clears throat> it's amazing the memory on this man over there. <laughs> Anybody watching this video that knows me, you know, they usually call me the elephant memory. <laughs> well... I know this video is already uh, pretty, pretty lengthy. 35 minutes long. About 25. We were off by 10. But I, I, I would like to have this opportunity, uh, now that Big Slim is here, you know, because, you know, we have a lot of, you know, people in the, in the Jersey collecting community, and, and you know, it's a nice, close-knit community. And, you know, Big Slim has, ha has one of the largest collections out of all of us. And I would like to ask him, now that the, the, the opportunity presents itself, is, and I know this is a tough one. How many jerseys do you own? Oh. Ballpark. I, 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 really, I got to do inventory, but I'm probably somewhere around 800, maybe 850. About 800 to 850, the number of jerseys. Now, I have about Let me think about between it. four to five. Hey, I think about it, dude. Those, well, I traded two, so there's two editions. Two editions. I just had seven, eight... Two from Snacks. Yeah, I, I mean, just this week alone. Uh, almost, oh, yeah. I almost mean, forgot my uh, uh, Luis uh, Aparicio. Aparicio Chicago White Sox jersey. This is a flannel. And I'm normally not really big into the flannels, but I saw this in the sale rack. I'm like, yeah, I, I got to grab this because it's just a sweet jersey. It's, I think it's I cool because, I mean, just being a year apart, just being a year apart from the one that I've got and the one that you've got, I mean, you know, just how different they are. 1968, Chicago White Sox, it's double-stitched. Really, really nice. And the, what I like about this, too, is that big name on the back. Yeah. Aparicio. You see, like. you see on mine how my had Aparicio and it's a little 11. The, the little, the 11. Show your jersey. Yeah, look how itty-bitty. Look at itty bitty. your jersey. Look how itty-bitty sure. mine 11 See that, how, how different. Now, this is just one year apart, and both of them are road gray. Which I love road gray, you guys know that. But look at the difference. Now you see you got the big name, but look at that 11. And this is a 68. And then like how big the name is on this with his itty bitty 11. <laughs> but the front is pretty similar. The patches right? on both. The front. <laughs> of course the 100th anniversary on mine. And I have the uh, Illinois anniversary going on on the side there. So, and they're completely different colors and completely different Different colors. shades of gray. In the clearance room, they were giving them away. Right? Many, basic, what's basically. that movie, Fifty Shades of Gray? Well, there you go, the different shades. Here's two of them. <laughs> I've never seen that movie, so I... I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard good things. Not, no, I'm not watching it. I hear yet. the woman's pretty hot. Would you, would you watch it for the woman? No. No? See, I'm all about those... those uh, I, I was telling uh, Big Slim earlier, I'm all about those... LMN movies, those Lifetime Movie Network or whatever, they're all drama movies and like, you know, Stalker this and that, but they're just, once you see, you just can't turn away. You can't turn away. And they wrap it up in an hour, which is, but anyway. Which is what we're trying to do. So, so, but I was starting to question, and I want to ask this, and I know you have about 800 to 850 jerseys. If you were to pick oh. three... Oh. That just come to mind right away. That are just oh man, I can't believe I have this jersey in the collection. Oh, I can't believe. Yeah, like I, I don't. I, I wasn't going to ask that, what's your a, favorite because that would be too. I have a feeling Throwback King's name is going to come up in this. Throwback King. Well, so like the, the the jerseys that just pop in your mind first and say, man, I have this in the collection. Wow, like the wow factor. Uh well, I mean, I up it up 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 up. Uh, beep, beep, beep. That's all, folks. <laughs> I, I I would have to say, I mean, if I if I had to think fast, which is this is just not happening. I know, I, I put them on the spot. You know, we didn't do any prep for this. This is just 
This is just I would probably say the the seventy six Ron Jaworski. Rams. That's the uh, Rams. The LA Rams. Rams. The LA Rams. Ron Jaworski seventy six. Uh, you said three. Uh, the Randall Cunningham Pro Bowl. Randall Cunningham Pro was that ninety one. Ninety. Ninety. And uh, and and by the way, shout out to Big Snacks. He was the one that I got the Jaworski from. Uh, and then it's it. I mean, obviously, I've got all I've got all the Jordans that I could want. Um. I mean, I, I guess another one that maybe just it hits me right away. We've been talking about it was the '89 Barkley All Star. Yeah. I mean, it was such a limited run under uh, Peter's era. You know, apparently Charles was a big pain in the ass. <laughs> you know, there's so few of us. I, I know I only know two people that even have the Suns jersey. And that's, you know, shout out to Ciotti and shout out to, to Diddy, Mac Diddy. I know they both have one, but. Yeah, that, that's that's one of those. That's I offered on the... Mike. I offered on, on camera, Mike, if you're watching this, if you sat through this. Ciotti? I offered Mike $800 for his Barkley. Oh, wait a minute. Repeat that. I offered Mike 800 for his Barkley. And, he was, and part of the impersonation, bro, don't do that to me. <laughs> And I said, you know what, Mike? I said, from one jersey collector to another, because I care about what you think and you're my boy, I can't do that to you because you, once you run through that eight hundred dollars and whatever you decide to do with it, if you don't pick up something that that is as solid as that Barkley, you're going to be upset that you put that you sold it. it. Who cares if you spent two? If you got two grand for it, if you just ended up just putting it into, you know, he's 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 redoing his house. Like if he just put it into his house, one day he's going to sit there and he's going to think that man, I sold. A jersey that I, I stole off of eBay for a good amount of money, but I don't have I, I don't have it anymore in my collection. So from one collector to another, I couldn't do that to him. So I mean, just just three that just come out to, to the top of my head would be the Jaws because it's so rare. Shout out to Snacks, got it. Uh, the Barkley All Star also got from Snacks. It's still brand new with tags. Wow, has the vintage look to it. I mean, it mm -hmm. destroys that '89 Jordan that they just put out. <laughs> that '89 Jordan All Star. I laid them down together, and I'm like, <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, I've got some other rare stuff. The Scotty Pippen 95 All-Star. Uh, shout out to Joe, Jose Deer. I uh, I got the uh, Joe Morgan 69 Astros from him. Yeah, Jose was, was good to a lot of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shout out to him. So, but yeah, I mean, at, 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 at a quick answer, this is another one. Another yes. Snacks, another, another Throwback King pickup. I just... Yeah, I mean, these are ones that just, I just don't know how to live, live without them as a collector. Well, I know right off the bat, for me at least, it's, it's the, 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 the older run Richmond Kings is just one that, I, I honestly, I didn't know how long it would be before I have it in a collection, because it is one that you, you see, like, it's like an eclipse, you know, it shows up, and <laughs> it's like, wow, you know, what are we going to do now, so... That's one for me. It's I'm really happy, and, and again, thanks to Big Slim for helping there. And I want to uh, give him a, a big shout out again too, because another one that's in the collection that's just one of those wow jerseys is the older run USA, eighty eighty five Jordan All Star. You know the original huh. run of that. Because I thought that, about I thought about mine because that's such a rare one. Yeah, you just don't you don't see it, and if you put that against the one that they just made, it's just no contest. The the, the older one is the one to get. The new one's not bad. <laughs> not if it was, bad. Not bad if it was the only option, but if you had a chance to get the old USA oh. All Star, my my quick story was the 2011 Winter Sales event. I go in there, the guy's trying to sell me. On the Jordan, and back then the Jordan stuff was still half off on their sales. Only year they ever did it. So I got the '97, '98, and I was just hell bent on getting that and getting some other football. Tim Hardaway Warriors, I got that, and this, and there it is. It's on a mannequin, and I just just looked past it like it wasn't even sitting there. <laughs> and then it just, I just, I was just smacking myself for it. And so I, I a '52 hit eBay, you know. Panicked. It was on eBay for like three minutes. I hit buy it now. Bought it. It was way too small. I don't know why I even did it. Eventually, it made its way to Mighty Fans Vault, and I found myself one a little bit later on. It was literally what, like a week later, yeah, something like that. I, I found one in my size, an older USA run, and then I had the new China one, and I right back to Mitchell and Ness and traded in for something <laughs> else. 
Yeah, the ninety three. So the the ninety three Dominique is another one that is just uh, one yeah, of those. This is, this is I don't understand I, why they would have made the black alternate whatever. I just, <laughs> but this is such when a I, but, hot but looking I, jersey. I mean, look at that, and that stands out. Like you see that, and it's like whoa, you know. And I was and, even more blown away by just finding the fit oh, yeah. in my size. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, we got a lot of compliments today. It was like we got. Quite, quite a lot. Yeah, the lot. people that work at the store were at like, the store, "Damn!" And Even the girls were like, "I like that jersey." <laughs> and and people on the street just saying, "Oh, that's a nice. Those are nice jerseys. You guys really know what you're doing." Type of stuff. And it, it because uh, I was wearing my Dickerson Rams, and, and, and we have nothing better to do. Is we, what they mean this, you know, it. Uh, yeah, was the one guy on the bus? We were on the bus. A uh, guy sits. Near us. Look on his face was priceless when we told him how many jerseys we had. He he just he said I got one. He said I got one. <laughs> Such is the life of a collector, though. I mean, it is what it is. We love what we do, and maybe at times there's a little, you know, maybe we go a little, little crazy with the spending, but you know, it, it is what it is. The life of a collector. Just a little bit. Just a little with, over, out over. <laughs> Shadows, you know, maybe now I'm tired because I feel like I just exercised. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, for Big Slim Mark, uh, I, I just want to say again, big shout out to him and thank you for for the the you know the, the, the you know the, the jerseys and the swapping and the you know everything. It was a great day. You know, we had we had a lot of fun tonight. So, and we found some things we were not expecting to find. No, I <laughs> come home with. You told me I was coming home with two extra ones, especially those two. I would have said no. So but I couldn't pass them up. They were too cheap. Yes. Yeah. But as always, a big shout out to all my uh, subscribers out there, all the viewers, uh, all my fellow Jersey heads out there, all our fellow Jersey heads, I should say, uh, family, friends, fellow DeviantArt members, anyone I'm forgetting, as always, on behalf of Big Slim, this is Mighty Fan, saying peace. See you in the next video. Okay, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.